So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your ninth ReactJS tutorial in which I'm going to discuss what events are in React and how you create them. Well, we have done events in JavaScript, jQuery, AngularJS, Angular2 and all that stuff. And React pretty much provides the same sort of things as well for the events. So you can cl create a click event or you know anything like that. So let's just take a look at how you can create a click event and update some counters and all that stuff. So first of all, instead of just returning a simple h1, we, what we can do is we can return a div right there. And <clears throat> we can actually say that uh, the span has this dot counter or actually this dot state dot counter and then we can just say button update counter right so we can now create another method where we can say update this counter and we can say this dot <coughs> set state and actually we just need this same line right there and let's just get rid of the set interval so now we can assign this method on click now how you, that's how you do that on click and then right here just the method name you want to call not the parenthesis no to this okay now there's a slight problem in this code which would make it not work and let's just see what happens for now so what we get in here um, we can just get rid of this for now well 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 unexpected token are we missing something here oh obviously I guess okay so again we can just get rid of that 10 right there so now if I click on update counter button, you can see that I get an error, cannot read property set state of null. Now why does that happen? Well that happens because in ES6, the ES6 stuff does not auto bind this to this particular class, right? So by the time this on click event handler is called, that this keyword is no longer pointing to the hello planet class, right? So you need to somehow make sure that update this counter when we make use of this in update this counter method then we are actually referring to hello planet and that particular instance and not just you know anything in the universe right so we can do that by saying this dot update this counter is this dot update this counter dot bind this now this might seem stupid at first but this actually makes your code work and if you see you can see it works and the reason why it works is that we are inside the constructor this refers to exactly what we need in this update this counter method so we lock this method right there to make use of the this keyword as the same thing which is this right there in the constructor i know it might seem a little bit confusing but <clears throat> essentially what we are doing <clears throat> is that we are locking this method right there to make sure that whenever we are making use of this keyword then use the reference to this class instead of you know anything other so <clears throat> this is one sort of way to fix this problem the other way is the ES6 way well this is available for ES5 as well well with the ES6 what you can do is you can actually call another function which calls this function later so we can do a flat arrow function calling right there and uh, you can just put curly braces there as well if you want and you can call this function right there right so what happens now is that in ES6 fat arrow function notation what this is what this was introduced for is that it uses this of its calling scope right so it does not make use of this which is actually which actually threw an error right now which we just saw this makes use of the this 
pointing to this class right so this is another way to fix the problem and again if you see you can see that the counter just works fine but again you can just make use of that um, inside your constructor only and again you can just pretty much if you are in a hurry you can just bind this thing right here as well this will work just fine because the actual problem is when you access try to access this inside this method right so if we check now you can see if it works again but again I would just recommend that you just put if you are making use of bind this then put it inside the constructor because you save a little overhead because when you recreate or when react recreates this component then it would have to create this function again and again and bind to this so that kind of just saves an overhead so we can just do that again if we just go back a little right there okay so that's how pretty much you create a very basic event handler and in the next tutorial what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how you can pretty much pass data from child to parent so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one